Glory be to God. What a day the Lord has made, and we are to rejoice and be glad in it. I'm glad you've logged on this morning. I'd like you to invite your friends to join us as we go right into the Word of God, dealing with don't be anxious. Why don't you cast your cares upon Him? You know, I started by thinking about the Lord this morning and I realized that this is very important that I share this with you. That you don't need to worry about anything. You know, I'm sure there's somebody that is watching this broadcast right now that is more or less so concerned about tomorrow and worried about the circumstances and the events of their lives. Maybe you know somebody who is laden with worry in their mind. They're just worried about what the future holds. Worrying about what is happening in their life. Just being anxious and full of anxiety and worries. Now this is for you and also for your friend that might be in that situation. Actually, it's for everybody. But so you need to listen very carefully and so that you can overcome any kind of anxiety that comes your way let us pray father we thank you we once again we are tr we trust you we believe in you we know that with you all things are possible we thank you for your guidance now let's speak to us now as we go into your word in the name of jesus amen so first peter chapter 5 verse 7 the amplified classic Put it this way casting the whole of your cares all your anxieties all your worries all your concerns once and for all on him for he cares for you affectionately and cares about you watchfully and i love the way this scripture is rendered by the amplified classic so that God cares for you affectionately and watchfully. So God cares so much about you. God is not just, just not just mildly interested in you, but He cares for you just as a good mother would care for her infant child. You know, affectionately and watchfully. And a mother would would watch that child affectionately and. Make sure the child is safe. You know, it would be reasonable, or won't, it, won't it be reasonable to, for a well, I put it this way, will it be reasonable for a well loved infant to worry? No, it will not be because the same way it will not be reasonable for you as a child of God to worry about anything. You know, God has promised to take care of you. To worry, you must believe one of two lies number one to worry you believe that god cannot take care of you number two to worry means that god would not take care of you you know god is your creator you don't have to worry about the circumstances that you are faced with right now in your life you don't have to worry about that situation you don't have to worry about that at all you don't have to worry whatsoever and and if, if you look at philippians chapter 4 verse 6 to verse 7 the new reverse standard version Post it like this. Do not worry about anything. That's right. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And then the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. So, worry is not appropriate for a child of God. Worry should not be part of your lifestyle. God told us we should cast our cares upon him for he cares for us. So you, you have to stop worrying and start living. There are some that pride that they have a, you know, they are masters at worrying. You got to stop a life of worrying and begin to live. Don't worry. Put your trust in God. There are some worrying about the past. You know, you cannot change the past. Some are worrying about today. You know, today is a present given to you by God to enjoy the day. Some are worrying about the future. Your future 
is blessed is in the hand of God. So it is it is all a useless and a, and a useless effort for you to worry. You have to have faith in God's plan for your life. God has a plan for your life. You have to trust that he has planned to give you a hope and a future. That's right. You know, worrying is really the antithesis of, of, of trust. You simply cannot trust God and worry at the same time. So you cannot be worrying at the same time you are trusting God. There, it doesn't work like that. You are either trusting God or you are worrying. You cannot do both. And God told us in his word, Matthew 6, 34, NIV, Therefore do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Don't worry. God got you covered. You know, you have to have faith without borders. You have to have the courage to face tomorrow. And don't be afraid or worry about the future about tomorrow. You know, do you know I said something the other time, I believe yesterday. You can safely say that you know what tomorrow holds. For because you know who holds tomorrow. You know, and 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 some would often say, you know, that I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know what's tomorrow. No, you know what tomorrow holds, and you know what's tomorrow. Why would you say that? Because Jeremiah twenty nine eleven tells us, for I know God says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. There are plans to prosper you and not to harm you. There are plans to give you hope and a future. So you don't have to worry about tomorrow because God has promised to give you a future and a hope. You have a bright future if you dare to believe this. You have a wonderful future no matter what happens right now. You don't have to worry about your children, about your business, about your finances, about your health. You don't have to worry. You cast your cares upon him. In the Bible tells us in Psalm 46 verse 10, is it, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in on the earth. Just relax. That's right. Take a deep breath and relax. God have you covered. Be still. Stop being anxious. Stop being nervous about everything. Whether it's good or bad news, don't be anxious. It is only good news. Don't be nervous about what you see. For what you see is only temporal. And that's right. So to face the future, you have to live the life of faith and not worry about it. That's right. Because when you worry, not only does it show on your, on your countenance, but it reduces your lifespan. The life of faith puts you in a position to face the future without worry. That's why God told us to walk by faith, to live by faith, and not by sight. So, and so you 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 plan your life as though it is impossible for you to fail. Because why is that? Because you have been created in the image of God. And I can always say that you carry God's DNA on the inside of you. And if God cannot fail, you too can not fail. So you don't have to worry about failing. You have been destined to win and there is nothing the devil can do about it. You have to put your complete trust in God. By faith, every and any obstacle can be overcome. Don't worry about it. You know, there's, there's a statement I made some time ago. I said that every Every Goliath have an exposed forehead. That's right. Every Goliath has an exposed forehead. That problem, that situation, that care that is facing you has a solution. When you worry, you do not have the capacity anymore to receive the solution needed to resolve that situation. God have you covered. You don't have to worry about anything. You know, not only do you do you know that God have you covered, you have to believe him. God has taken care of, of or will take care of your tomorrow. Your tomorrow is blessed. It's in the hand of God. 
you have to put your complete trust in him he said and have the full assurance that he has done it or he will do what he promised to do so you don't have to worry and that's right because you are watching me right now and once in a while the enemy comes your way make you to worry about your life maybe you think you are not supposed to be where you, where you need to be i understand that but don't worry then about tomorrow because god have it already covered where do you get your help from your help Bible tells us in psalm 121 verse 1 and 2 say lift up your eyes to the hills from where does your help come my help comes from the lord who made the heavens and the earth your help comes from god you don't have to worry about any of that stuff that is plaguing your mind don't be worried that you are by yourself don't be worried that maybe you are lonely no if my bible tells us in psalm 112 verse 7 they will have no fear of bad news their heart are steadfast trusting in the lord so those that trust in the lord we have no we will not be afraid of anybody whatever comes your way you know god have you covered we said the other time that everything works together for your good to them who love god why worrying about your business is going to grow just give yourself some time why worrying about circumstances like it's going to be all right the bible tells us in uh, psalms proverbs 3 verse 5 and 6 one of my favorite scriptures proverbs 3 5 and 6 he said trust in the lord with all thine heart and do not lean on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your path don't worry just put your trust in god god is already making everything right for you so first corinthians 10 13 will tell us no temptation has overtaken you no trials that is not common to men god is faithful and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability but with every temptation you also make provide a way of escape that you may be able to endure it that talks about every goliath as an exposed forehead so no matter what temptation comes your way no matter what trials come your way god is too faithful to fail god is faithful in he has plans for your life maybe your spouse is messing up maybe your spouse has let you down or disappointed you maybe things are going not the right way but listen those are trials of life but god said he will give you the ability to overcome them but you must stop from worrying because worrying is like a rocking chair you know we give you something to do but it doesn't get you anywhere you know so do not worry you know you know i like what what paul said in book of romans he said what shall we say to these things if god be for us who can be against us put your trust in the lord no matter what you are faced with today put your trust in god don't worry you know the bible tells us in isaiah 26 verse 3 esv is that you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you and this is good because this is what we practice when your mind is stayed on god god said he would keep you in perfect peace because you trust him blessed is the man jeremiah 17 verse 7 we close with that blessed is the man who trusts in the lord whose trust is the lord you know you trust in the lord and your trust is the lord he's like a tree planted by water that sends out his roots by the stream and does not fear when it comes for his leaves remains green and is not anxious in the year of drought for it does not cease to bear fruit oh man this is powerful is a blessed is a man blessed is a man whose trust is in the lord blessed is a man who does not worry about tomorrow blessed is a man who does not worry about what is what is facing them blessed in the man whose trust is in who trust in the lord and whose trust is the lord is like a tree whatever that is. you are like a tree planted by water you always your root your if i say it sets out its root by the stream and does not fear when it comes not afraid whatever comes 
because you know everything is working for your good. For its leaf, its leaves ever always remains green, and is not anxious in the years of drought, for it does not cease to be a fruit. You will not cease to be a fruit. You will not cease to prosper. You will not cease to excel. You continue to excel. Just don't worry. Worrying is a damn payment for trouble. Stop being anxious. Cast your cares upon him, for he really cares about you. I want you to say, make up your mind today that you, that you will throw your cares on God, because God cares about you. How do you do that? Just I'll give you just one nugget on that, and I will close. Stop thinking about the problem, and think about the promise, the 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 the, the promise of God. Think about God. Replace the thoughts of the problem with the thoughts of God's provision. When you do that, you cast your cares on Him when your mind is stayed on Him. When your mind is stayed on the problem, you're, you are taking the cares on yourself. When your mind is stayed on God, you are casting the care on God and it will give you peace in your heart and you'll have a life of ease, a life of bliss. Man, I'm out of time again, but I trust what you receive received today has blessed your heart. So don't be anxious about anything anymore. Cast your cares upon him for he really does care for you. Remember, you've been destined to win and there's nothing the devil can do about it. Keep on walking by faith and not by sight. Keep looking up because your victory is already guaranteed in Jesus' name. Amen.